Hi guys, I'm photographer Matthew Jordan Smith. And today I'm gonna to show you three beautiful beauty setups using light. This series is all about light. You're gonna learn how to use a meter and learn why it's important and crucial for you standing out as a photographer. Welcome to the series. There's a lot to go over, so let's get going. So here we are guys, we're in studio and we're doing a beauty shot. Now the aesthetic I'm going for is to have a beautiful clean light for a nice kicker in the back on both sides. Let me just give you a walkthrough of what we have going on. We have three lights today. The first light is a beauty dish. I also have a little help for my beauty dish, a small reflector underneath. Then I have two lights behind my model. I have one on camera left and one on camera right. This gives her separation so her hair stands out. There's no background lights, just three lights. Separation, main. I also have a V-flat to keep me from getting any spill from those backlights. I don't want that spill from my backlight to hit my lens, just her hair. Now, on the backlights, I also have black flags to block the light from hitting the background. So I have a black flag on both sides, keeping that light right where I want it, the V-flat to make sure my lens doesn't get any light, but still gets her lit perfectly, and our beauty dish. That's the recipe. Clean, simple, three lights. I can do it, and you can do it. Now the first thing we do is set our main light. That's now at F8. My back lights, both camera left and camera right, are a half stop more just to give me a little separation and make her hair stand out. Now those backlights, it's going to change depending on who I'm shooting. If the model has blonde hair, I'm going to change that light. It won't be eight and a half. It might be a five, six and a half or F8, depending on her hair. If she has very dark hair, I might go even a stop over. It depends on the subject. So there's no one rule for everybody. It changes depending on your subject. I've got a great tip for you. So when you're setting up your lights, the first thing I want you to do is to look at your light from your subject's point of view to make sure that it's even, first and foremost, before you do anything else. Because sometimes photographers stand behind the camera and set the light. It can deceive you from behind the camera. To find out exactly where the light's falling, go behind the model and check the light from that point of view. I know guys, there are a lot of you out there who don't like to use a light meter. But let me tell you what can happen when you don't use a meter. Let's say you're using the histograms or maybe you're using the back of the camera to, to judge your exposure. You might get a decent picture on one shoot, but when you look at the body of your work, not just one picture, but say all your pictures over the last year, they're fluctuating up and down. There's no consistency. This makes you consistent. And clients hire you for having a consistent point of view, a consistent vision. This meter makes me be exact. I know if the light's over by a stop or over by a third or over by a half, I know exact. You can only do that with the light meter. So that was a beauty dish setup. Simple, light, beautiful light. And now you know how light makes you stand out. You know why a meter is so important. But now it's time to go even more dramatic. This next look, I'm gonna make it sexier. So stay with me. Let's go to video number two.